Hello and welcome to LearnDigitalDesign.com. This will be a continuation of a series we're doing on learning to create an avatar image. If you haven't seen the previous tutorials, you need to uh, back up and go view those first. Uh, you can find them on our website at www.LearnDigitalDesign.com. I'm not really explaining every difference function and every intersection that we do because we've done so many of them so far. So we're just going to copy all of that along with the head anchor and place it on top there. Now we're going to have to place these objects in order, you know, as far as above or below where they need to go. And then apply color from the model, gradients and blurs appropriately. Now we got a gradient on the chest. This darker area underneath the chin here is not a whole lot darker than the rest of the neck, but we're going to go ahead and just do it as we see it. If you're following along with this and you're creating, creating your own avatar image, I would really like to see it. Um, if you want to come over on to LearnDigitalDesign.com and come into our forums area, we have an area there just for posting your work where you can post your work and other users will come in and look at your work and uh, you know it's a really friendly environment we've got going there. There's nobody, at least so far, coming in there and being rude. and uh, you know, j just uh, being overly critical. Now, we do encourage constructive criticism where someone is trying to help, but there's nobody that's just rude. And if somebody does come along like that, um, obviously we'll uh, have to stop them from doing that. Uh, we don't allow anyone to just be plain rude. So uh, just come on over and feel free to post it and. If you get a rude comment, then uh, we'll take care of that. But everybody is very uh, friendly so far at the forums. We're, we haven't been around that long. And there's already a lot of artwork posted from myself and uh, several of the other members have posted artwork already as well. And we've got a lot of conversations going on about how to do certain things. It's uh, really fun. Make sure you come over and check that out and post your avatar so we can see uh, see what you look like and and offer you some suggestions about uh, how to uh, how to improve your skills in Inkscape. We also cover the GIMP, Blender, and other uh, open source design mediums. What I'm doing here is I covered that up with the uh, with the with the one below it so I went to lay, uh, view outline and went to the outline instead of the normal mode and it just gives you an outline and it shows the outline of every object 
you see so if you ever get an object underneath another object and you can't get it out don't worry about it you don't gotta move everything around and dig it out you just go to view out and then go to outline and view the outline it's uh it's really easy to do so no fear if you get something buried you can still dig it out without having to without having to uh, tear your entire image up and you start to get to a point when you're creating an avatar image like this where it seems to stare back at you a little bit and you start to realize that this is going to turn out nicely. Now we're going to start tracing some of this hair that is overlapping the shoulder. And I didn't clean up the uh, shadows on the neck there, but there's only two of them. So it's not too much of a mess, but I do try to clean them up every time I start to draw something new, but no worries. And this will actually look like it is part of the hair that goes behind the, he the head, creating kind of an illusion because I'm going to color it the same color, so nobody will know that it's actually two pieces here are actually a total of three pieces if you include both of the uh, parts of the hair that's coming over the front of the shoulders and I just selected those two and the the head anchor and I'm going to bring that over to the canvas area if you've uh, watched this entire tutorial so far, then you, or this entire series so far, then you've started to f probably realize that there's a pattern here. Trace, copy, align, paste, color, gradient, blur, clean up, repeat. Then you just keep repeating that until you're finished and you could go for, you could do this for you could go for a long time I could spend a week on this picture if I wanted to just getting everything just right and trying to make it photorealistic but uh, not going to <laughs> maybe if it was a uh, maybe if I wasn't doing a video on it but uh, start to feel like I'm running out of things to say here because uh, we're kind of doing the same thing over and over again but uh, staying true to my word no cuts no uh, no fast forwarding I'm gonna show you everything we're doing here step by step line by line vector by vector and you're not gonna have an excuse on not being able to do an avatar image now so after you've, after you've watched this and you come over to the forums, you better have a good avatar image. I'm just kidding. You don't have to, but <laughs> uh, you certainly won't have an excuse for not knowing how. And uh, I don't want to hear anybody, I don't want any emails saying, oh, Ben, you're just talented. There's no way I could do that. I, I just don't have that kind of natural talent, but good job well yet you know you don't need any natural talent to do this so if you think you do uh, you probably haven't been paying attention here because I'm just tracing this if you can walk and chew gum you can do this <laughs>